some viewers say that uh, the character you played in Kingsman, uh, Galahad or Harry Hart, represents a breakthrough for you in, because it's in many ways different from the ones you did in your previous films. Um, so what's your thought on it? Um, well, yes, I mean, it, it's, it's making use of the, the familiar things that I did, I've done before. And uh, I think this is what Matthew Vaughan likes to do. He likes to take familiar imagery and then subvert and surprise with familiar things. So Kingsman, yes, you see Bond, you see Men in Black, you see the Avengers, you see Harry Palmer. But then he makes it his own by twisting it or exaggerating it or, or making a kind of postmodern comment in a way, uh, just for entertainment. And he's done something similar with me. You've seen me play English gentleman before. You've seen me in a suit, you know, being polite and all this kind of thing. But this time you see me fight, and you see me do all these sort of crazy, you know, action sequences. And uh, and so the impact uh, that that is, that has is based on the fact that you start with something familiar. So he wanted to cast me because. You expect this, and instead you get that. And um, uh, so, in, in yeah, it, it was very, very uh, new for me, and I think it's probably surprising for people to watch, but only because it begins with a familiar reference point. Okay. Did you enjoy the shooting? Uh, oh, the, I mean, yes. Did I, you have fun? It's a it's a mix because the beginning of the training was was a little bit intimidating, and it was it was difficult and, and quite painful. Um, but when we've achieved it and when we shot those scenes, by the time we were doing it after six months, it was, it was one of the most exhilarating things I know. And Matthew is exhilarating to work with, you know. Uh, it's not always easy because he's a perfectionist and he, he, uh, he'll surprise us. You know, I learn my lines, we have the set built, and he has a whole set of ideas. And then if he arrives and he has a better idea, he will do the better idea. Even if we have to change the set, change everything, change the dialogue, he will do it. But um, I loved it because uh, I, meant, I thought, yeah, he's always committed to making it better. OK, and um, among the cast members, who do you think is the funniest? The funniest? That's difficult because they're funny, all of them. You know, um, Michael Caine's stories are very funny, and he loves to tell stories. And, and, um, uh, and it's the same with Sam, Sam Jackson. You know, it, it, I, I could have wasted time not filming because just from listening to these guys tell stories about their experiences because they're all to do with my favorite movies. Um, Taron is very funny too, um, uh, and uh, he made fun of me quite a lot. So. You know, it's sometimes it's you know you didn't want to be work because we were just enjoying each other's company. And who is the most gentlemanly, in your opinion? Well, they're all gentlemen in their way. Um, you know, the, I suppose in terms of the archetypal gentleman that we think of as an Englishman, it's obviously it's Michael Caine. You know, he has that uh, that grace and um, uh, elegance and dignity that we associate with the gentleman. But, um, you know, Sam is not the English gentleman in the suit at all, but he is an absolute gentleman in that he goes out of his way to make people feel happy, comfortable. Um, you know, he's, he, just, he just treats people with great generosity, so he's a, a huge gentleman. And Taron, you know, he's so good in this role that people imagine he's like that guy, and he's not at all. He's also a perfect gentleman. He's very, very polite, very kind, and very sensitive. So it was, I think it was a kind of ambience of gentlemen. And do you consider yourself charming in the film? Because apparently people have seen it. I think so. I don't think anybody can consider themselves charming, you know? I'm very glad that, that if that's the people's response, I'm very, it makes me very happy because obviously I'm supposed to be playing a gentleman, so it, the, that means that the role works. But uh, no, I can't have that response to myself. Okay. And what drove you to take the part in the first place? Matthew Vaughan. 
it was because I didn't see a script. He hadn't written the script yet. So uh, when I met him, so um, it was my my interest was based on him and uh, on the movies he's made. I think they're all very very individual and diverse and, and unique. So it was it was basically I was attracted to working with Matthew. And did you work out for the, the fight scenes? Oh yes. And yeah. what was it like? Three hours a day, every day for six months. Um, you know, it was difficult at first because I was unfamiliar with these kind of moves. And uh, you know, I'm o over the age of fifty. That it's not when you think you, it's the time to start doing this. But I was excited when I saw it began to work. You know, obviously, we have, if you persist at these kind of things, it, something will change. And I got fitter. Um, and to feel fitter, uh, and to have the opportunity and the discipline and the structure, and to, to, to be given that it was was incredible at this age. I thought, no, it's not too late. I can do it. Um, what the most difficult part, in a way, I had to go away and do a movie. I went to do a movie with Woody Allen in France mm -hmm. in the middle of the training process. <clears throat> so I was playing somebody very different, not physical at all. Uh, and they sent the trainer to France so that, you know, every morning before I got up to go and do the, that film, I had to do uh, an hour and a half with the trainer um, before going to work. And so that, that was a little bit tough. You know, I'd, I'd arrive on the set and I'd want to fall asleep, you know, before I even started. But um, no, they, by the time we achieved it all and we were shooting these sequences, I, I was. It was incredibly satisfying to have done all that work. Okay. Will there be a sequel to the film? I hope so. That is an intention. You know, Matthew Vaughan has, has, has stated publicly that he would love to make a sequel and find a way to bring us all into it. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank